so much for joining us. We are continuing to follow that big breaking news tonight. It is official. Lady Vols head coach Holly Warlick is out after a not so stellar season. Yeah, that season ending in the Lady Vols loss in round one of the NCAA tournament. Tennessee Athletics posting the news on their website about an hour ago saying that Warlick has been relieved of her duties. Now, Warlick has been serving as head coach ever since Pat Summit's retirement back in 2012. In that time, her record has been 172 and 67, but the team has not made it past the Elite Eight. Athletics Director Philip Fulmer telling us, quote, while it certainly stings to make this decision, I am charged with doing what I believe is best for this storied program. He went on to say, it is important to all of us that the Lady Vols basketball maintains its status among the elite. Now, before the news was made official to the UT fan base, multiple sources knew about her departure, including sports writer Maria Cornelius, sports reporter Jordan Kramer, joining us right now in the newsroom, hearing from Cornelius about this latest news. Jordan. Yeah, Maria, we were talking about this just a few days ago, and we really thought that they were going to wait to kind of let the men's season play out. What happened that it, it came out so early? I think as soon as the meeting was held today, in the era that we live in, things move so quickly. Tennessee wanted the spotlight, justifiably so, on the men's game tomorrow night. But these things are going to move very quickly in social media. You know that. <laughs> I mean, both of us are active on social media, and... While I think we are all somewhat shocked that it happened today, I don't think anyone is that shocked by the news. Now, when we were talking a little bit earlier, was there a moment this season that you thought, okay, that things are, things are going south and that Holly's probably not going to come back? Or has this been really a culmination of the last seven years under, under her helm? The first several years were quite successful. <laughs> I mean, SEC championships, elite eights. There's been s significant bumps in the road these past three years. And... I wouldn't say that at any point this season I thought, okay, Holly's done. Mm -hmm. But there were the Vanderbilt game at home certainly concerned people because it, nothing out there looked like Lady Ball basketball. It was there were, you could audibly hear people going, "What is going on with this team?" There was something clearly dis, disruptive going on with this team. So, but basketball, you've always got a chance. Mm -hmm. NCAA tournament hits. Who knows? You can make a run. Look at what Missouri State's doing. But when they lost in the first round. I think everybody was starting to prepare for what was going to happen, and today, obviously, it became official. Despite this season and what's gone down, how important is it that we remember the overall legacy that Holly Warlick leaves at Tennessee? Holly Warlick came to Tennessee as a teenager. She was a track athlete, walk-on basketball player, gave her heart and soul to this program, gave her heart and soul to Pat. Holly Warlick stepped in at the program's literally darkest hour, when we learned Pat Summit had early onset dementia. She had to coach that. I mean, she was the de facto head coach in Pat Summit's last season. She watched her mentor, her head coach, an icon fade in front of her. So we, we do need to thank Holly for what she did, what she contributed to this program. And I think Philip Fulmer mentioned that in his statement. Please remember what Holly has done. Did Holly want another shot? Absolutely. She's a competitive person. She wanted to be able to lead this team another season. Philip Fulmer, very tough position he was in, particularly as someone who got fired as Tennessee's football coach. Mm -hmm. I do not think he made this decision lightly, and I do not think it was an easy decision for him at all. Now, moving forward, where did the Lady Vols go? I know they're obviously founding themselves in a national coaching search for the first time, but in the immediate future, what's next for them? First of all, you have to get... The Dean Lockwood, of course, will be over operations right now. He's the longest tenured person there besides Holly. So you have to keep the current team together. Mm -hmm. There are off-season workouts, classes. I mean, you have to keep the current team together. You have to reach out to the recruits and their parents and keep them up to date on what is happening. This is a public university. This is a public job. It has to be posted by law. It's not like Tennessee can hire someone tomorrow. But I think Philip Fulmer has been doing his due diligence and looking at candidates and as candidates become available, depending on what their teams are doing in the NCAA tournament, I, Fulmer would definitely be reaching out to some people. A few names have circulated already. If you're Philip Fulmer, who's your front runner for this position? I'm calling Kelly Jolly Harper as soon as her team is done in the NCAA tournament. She's a former Lady Vol. She's from Tennessee. She took an 11 seed Missouri State team and has them about to play Stanford in the Sweet 16. She beat Iowa State on their home floor Monday night. There is no one, perhaps besides Nikki Caldwell Fargus, who is from Oak Ridge, who embodies the spirit of Pat Summit, like Kelly Jolly. I know it's Harper now, but Kelly Jolly Harper and, and Nikki 
Fargus at LSU. If I were Philip Fulmer, I would definitely look at, at the two of them. Right, that would be my first people I'd want to look at. Thank you so much for coming in. Certainly going to be an interesting next couple of weeks, months for the two of us. Kristen, Bo, we're going to send it back to you. All right, Jordan and Maria, thank you yeah. so much for that insight there. And of course,